All right, we're here with one real simple word, token, all right? It could be any stimulus that is paired with a reinforcer becomes condition stimulus for reinforcers. Ah, look. It's ah, reinforced. Like so, and I just got a okay reinforcer, not too shabby, you know? Magnitude's a little low, but that's to be discussed later. Five bucks? The guy said like two words. I gave him five bucks for it. Wow. Yeah. It's better right. than we make of our YouTube channel. Yeah, right? <laughs> um, <laughs> don't, don't go there. Ten cents for 200 words. Um... <laughs> We can go uh, with, uh, they are a placeholder for reinforcement, which is really nifty. For instance, if a kid wants to work for an activity, you can't do the activity while you're going to do a math lesson if he wants to go to the pool. I found another one of your tokens. Oh, hey, thank thanks. <laughs> I put that back where I found it. Ooh. <laughs> where were you last Yeah. <laughs> That's a token. But it holds a placement for reinforcement. They're technically generalized condition reinforcers. They're kind of simple. This if you want to see simple. how to use them, if <laughs> no. you want to see how to use them necessarily, you should think about a token economy. That one's in honor of the late great Robin Williams. <laughs> Sorry. Oops. Proud you have some interesting tokens on you. Yeah, I, I do. <laughs> <laughs>